I'm Zanor Chrome for Surfcasters Journal. We're often asked why are the bailless reels so popular to use in the surf. Uh, today we figured we showed you not only how to use a bailless reel, but also a little information on why the reels are so popular. Uh, we have Randy Costanzo from uh, Z Bass Reels with us, and uh, we're going to ask Ron, what is his opinion on bailless reels? Why, why are they so popular? Why are so many surfcasters using them? Well, there's several advantages to a bailless reel. Um, number one, the bail is always the most delicate part of any spinning reel. And anytime you can eliminate a delicate moving part, you're going to do yourself a favor. Um, another thing is, you'll never snap a plug off due to a bail closure, which everybody who's ever fished a spinning reel with a bail has done at one point in their career or another. But I think the major benefit, especially for uh, surf casters that are you know, climbing up on big rocks and all, is you have a much more durable product. You don't have to worry about uh, you know, bending the wire or damaging a small spring. You can really uh, fish the thing hard, climb up on rocks, and just not have to worry about it. It's also really easy once you get used to it, it becomes second nature. And um, at this point in time, I, I find it hard, even if I'm freshwater fishing, to go back to a smaller reel that has a bell because I'm so used to the, the motions I make with the, uh, the manual with the, bell. With the fanga. Yeah. Right, right. Well, we're going to go and show you how we personally use bailless reels and how we learn to do it. And I promise you, it's a very simple process. Uh, we're on a beach to do the actual demonstration. We have the Z-Bass ZX25 bailless reel. These reels also come in a bailed version, as do most other reels they use for surf fishing. Uh, but the principle is the same. If you make a cast, you put the rod between your legs, you stick your in index finger out, you grab the handle, and when a lure hits the water, the line will slap against your finger. All you do is gotta hook it and put it on, on the reel. Now let me show you. I mean, this is really simple. It will probably take you a few times to get used to this. What you don't want to do is you don't want to cast and then let the line hit the water, the lure hit the water, and then go fish for your line and try to get it on. Do it without looking. Promise me you're not going to look at where your lure is or where your line is. Just put the hand on the handle, stick your finger out and start reeling. The line will come right on. Watch. Make a cast, forget the lure, wait until it's done, stick your finger out, and you're on. And you're ready to start fishing. Now, if you do this and your lure hits the water and your line's getting loose and you can't pick it up, and if you try to do this, and this is how you learn how to do it, what's going to happen is by the time you get to your lure, your lure will be nowhere where you originally wanted to cast. So what you want is to pick up the lure as fast as possible, so that way you can fish and have your lure presented where you want it. But that's the most important part is put your hand on a handle, stick your index finger out, and when your lure hits the water, grab your line in one motion and start reeling. Now we're gonna slow this down for you with a bunch of slow motion shots so you can actually see the process as the, the line hits the finger and the handle starts to turn and the line goes on a roller. But just look at me, look at my hands, don't look at anything else. Make a cast, let the lure hit, grab the handle, start turning, and the line is on a roller. Most of the surf casters that I know do not have bales, and although there are situations on the boats that the bale might be useful in surf casting, to be honest, it's nothing but trouble. So we're gonna show you some slow motion shots now where you can see how the line comes off the spool and onto the finger and right on the roller. As long as you put your hand onto the handle and stick your finger out, you will get your line on the roller automatic. Don't let the line hit the water. Don't let the line slap out. You know, be cognizant of when your line is, hits the water and you will have no problems whatsoever.